Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm continuing my series on how to sing like. Next up, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. If you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel. That'd be really cool. Don't forget to ring the bell so I can keep new videos coming your way. And I have a singing course. The course is called How to Sing Better than anyone else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com. For those of you interested in wanting to learn how to sing, uh, I cover all these different styles and techniques, and uh, uh, Steven Tyler is no exception. I wanna go through um, different artists I've worked with, and I have quite a few of them, but I just picked a you know, handful of them to give you a sampling of that if this technique not only applies to how to sing like Steven Tyler, but how to sing like a lot of different great artists, and that it doesn't just apply only to Ken Tamplin, but how Ken Tamplin can teach you too how to sing in these different amazing styles. So I'm gonna start with uh, my student Katie. Now Katie um, actually is from Austria, so she, you know she's got a German dialect, and so we worked a lot on the dialect, a lot on the power, a lot on the very specifics. I wanna dive into the song itself, and then I'll make some comments on how Steven got his tone, his range, how he approaches different things uh, as we Move along. So let's start here. Here we go. This is Crying from Aerosmith. There was a time when I was so broken hearted, there wasn't much of a friend of mine. The tables have turned. Yeah. Cause me and the ways I parted That kind of love Was the killing kind Listen All I want Is someone I can resist I know all I need to know I'm gonna stop here because I could play the whole song. She nails all the parts. She does a great job. Uh, I'll put this song, all these songs, in the description so you can go through with your microscope and check it out and uh, you know check out see how we stacked up to his original. Now I want to point some things out. So what I teach though is I don't teach Steven Tyler's technique because I'm not a big fan of his actual technique because he goes. is a very, very pointed, nasally, pencil-thin kind of sound. Now, that's his style and he's got so much character and all the stuff that he does and his songwriting and just his charisma and everything that goes with it. Um, it's the whole package of Steven. We choose to sing with a big open throat technique sound first so we can apply a big sound to a lot of smaller sounds, whereas you cannot apply a smaller sound to make it bigger. So this is really important. I covered this in my singing course. So, you know, so he's got a really, really small tone to his sound. So that's Katie doing this, but I wanna move on here um, from Katie and we're gonna do the same song with Ziomara. Now, the reason I'm doing this and I'm going through is to show you that it's not just one singer that can do this, it's that we're able to replicate this with everybody that does my course can actually step in and do this in these different styles and I'm doing this to prove it, to show it to you with different singers, so check it out. There was a time when I was so broken hearted Love wasn't much of a friend of mine The tables have turned, yeah Cause me and them ways of parted That kind of love was a killing kind See the overthrow? Listen! Oh. I want to point something else out. We chose to do the Kelly Clarkson version of crying because there was a lot more soul in it. So you're not only hearing the technique work 
in context of Steven Tyler and the big open throat technique, we get the distortion, we get all the vowels, we get the placement, we get the stabs, but you're also going to hear some of the soul that we took on from doing the Kelly Clarkson version. So this is three removed. This is Ziamara style singing Kelly Clarkson version of a Steven Tyler song, right? It's pretty cool doing the Ken Templin method. <laughs> it's like, you know, but this smorgasbord and this recipe ends up sounding like this. I was stuff, right? Now, whether you like the R&B side of it or not, can it's too much, oh, that perverts the original song, whatever, it's a style thing and it's fun. But it's just to show you that, you know, the, the diversity of this is endless because if you notice, she ain't struggling at all and Steven Tyler stuff is pretty hard to sing and it's pretty high and you could say, well, it's a girl singing, dude, it's not fair, man, chicks can sing higher. That's true to a certain extent, but Steven sings some pretty doggone high stuff for anybody. Now, I'm gonna get to a couple other artists here. Uh, the next one I wanna pull up here, uh, is I'm gonna take Gaston Jargway. He's another one of my students now. He's a little younger in the food chain of getting to these placements. So I don't want you to think that everyone, you know, they do the course for a few weeks and they arrived. No, we work at this. So I want you to see different levels of growth and whatnot. So this is Gaston. And by the way, I did one with a Sing It to Win It winner, Juicy Ferrigno from Italy, from Naples, Italy. We did a couple of songs with her. She also did one of the versions of, of, uh, of a Aerosmith tune. You can go online and check that out too. But let's check out Gaston. Here we go. Say you're living on our seventh third train and that you're heading out to Hollywood. Uh, he's from Mexico, so he's a kind of a thick Girl, you've been giving me that Hispanic so accent. Kind of get like feeling bad looks good. tell again we're all at different stages of growth and he's you know learning growing into this stuff too and he's doing a doggone good job I mean you know he was a, a finalist for La Voz Mexico a lot of these people have done you know a lot of gone on done a lot of TV shows and stuff so that's that's another example of this now I want to bring up another Katie example and then I'll bring up one of my own examples of me doing it but we also did um, what was it jaded and and as you know Steve takes on a lot of different styles of singing so even though his singing style itself is very unique and very identifiable um, he has a lot of diversity in his songwriting. So here, check this out. In fairness, if this were Stephen Tyler, nah, baby, nah, he's got that wrong. Yeah, yeah, really, 
really buzzsaw pointed sound, right? And actually, believe it or not, unfortunately, that sound cost him his voice. He had to have surgery from an otolaryngologist friend of mine, Steven Zytels, where uh, he kind of gave Steve Tyler back his voice, if you ask me. Now, Steve, uh, Steven Zytels has done a lot of vocal surgeries, Adele, Lionel Richie, and a lot of different people, Sam Smith. Um, and uh, so he was able to correct that. And so Steven has, you know, gone on to, um, kind of protect his voice and change his ways a little bit in his singing style in order to be able to accommodate that. Now, I did an earlier version. Now, I know I've talked about this before when I was talking about Ann Wilson and Pat Benatar. Um, a lot of these artists got a second chance at life, so to speak. So we have their 70s kind of versions of stuff, and then we have their you know 80s, 90s versions of stuff. And Aerosmith is certainly one of those bands when Run DMC, they did that that um, you know uh, combination back and forth with Walk This Way, uh, they did a whole different version of that and it came out really cool and it put them back on the map and then they did a bunch of movie soundtrack stuff but I did an older version of Dream On check it out now I sang it more like me but I still hit all of Steven's notes check it out every time I look in the mirror all these lines in my face getting clearer the past is Another way Everybody's got to do The light to pay more like me with this kind of a soulful version of this. Now I want to uh, remind us of one more thing about Steven, style, um, Steven Tyler's style is in the early days he sang a lot of lower belted mid voice stuff and didn't have much higher mid voice stuff at all and then did a lot of the screams like I'm going to go to the end here on Dream On I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm, I'm saying that because I want to point out that um, later as his voice grew and he got a, a lot more chances at singing different stuff and higher range stuff, he did grow his upper mid voice stuff and it's very difficult to sing and he did a fabulous job. Now this right here is just kind of his screams at the end of Dream On. So I'll show you how I can get into head voice too, doing Steven Tyler's style. Check it out. Dream On! I do the scream again. I do a little higher note than he does um, in the in uh, the end of the chorus. So anyway, gang, that's pretty much how Steven Tyler does this thing. Now I cover all of this again in my singing course, how you can get into these different styles and whatnot. I'm doing most of this by request. So if you've got a request, please put it in the description because I'll filter out the things that um, I feel I can, uh, you know, uh, get things that will benefit you guys the most. Uh, and the ones that I get the most requests that go to the top, that's more than likely who I'm going to choose. So uh, with that said, again, and um, also, don't forget I've got a singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else where you can find it at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com right here for you interested in wanting to learn how to sing this, sing like this, and definitely check out my next video. Oh.